hello everyone welcome back i hope you are fine and enjoying good health today i am going to start a new topic which is zigbee and in this series of uh, tutorials i will discuss what is a zigbee so basic theory of zigbee how the network is formed in a zigbee where the zigbee is used and what kind of networks zigbee can form what kind of security is there in the zigbee and how zigbee works so let's start so here are the topics i will cover in this series so first of all i will give an introduction to zigbee that what is a zigbee and uh, on which frequencies it works and what kind of uh, features it, it provides then i will discuss about the networking addressing and what kind of the nodes involved in the networking and how a zigbee network looks like and what and what kind of communication occurs between a zigbee devices and then at the end i will show you an example so i will show you a real time example on a zigbee microcontroller that how a zigbee can control something so basically i will give you an example of a home automation so let's start with introduction to zigbee so it is a open standard for reliable wireless communication so it is used for a wireless communication just like a bluetooth so bluetooth is also a wireless communication protocol and zigbee is a wireless communication protocol which is a low energy so its battery can last if a device is a zigbee enabled so its battery can last for several years and uh, yeah depending upon the configuration what kind of configuration the device has and it provides of course low data rate because it is a low power so it will provide you a low data rate and it works in 2.4 gigahertz band and the zigbee networks can grow from small to large networks so the minimum node can be there can be two minimum nodes in a network or there can be thousands of uh, nodes in a large network in the zigbee i will in the incoming tutorials you will see that how large a network can be and i will show you what kind of networks it, it can build and its range is between 70 to 100 meters so depending upon the power you are your antenna is configured so the range will be from between 75 to 100 meters yeah it's a ieee standard with 802.15.4 physical radio specification and it has a secure communication so it's used 128 bit advanced encryption scheme so it's a 128 bit advanced encryption scheme for secure connection so in the upcoming tutorials you will see how a secure connection is established in a zigbee network then it has a collision avoidance read rise and acknowledgement so if a network is all uh, if a if a channel is all already busy so it uh, has a collision avoidance mechanism and sends the data again so it has a read rise and for each data it has acknowledgement so you will see in the, in the upcoming tutorials that how acknowledgement works in and it has a low latency and it has a self-healing mesh network so self-healing mesh network means if a node leaves a network then it will automatically update the routing table and update all the nodes according to the new network so it will heal the network automatically So there are two types of security in a Zigbee network. So one is the one is centralized security and the other is a distributed security. So in centralized security, there is a coordinator and that manages all the security and provides the security keys to the joining nodes. And in a distributed and in a distributed network, there is no coordinator and there is a router that provides a key to the joining nodes and then the node can join the network so 
these are two types of security involved in the SGQ network. So we will see in the upcoming tutorials that how the security, how the key is exchanged, and I will show you sniffer logs that how it works. So this is a Zigbee stack. So at the low level, you will see a radio of a Zigbee. Then there is a network protocol stack which provides a connectivity. Then there are different clusters and application can use different types of clusters. So there are different clusters available. For example, for, for a home automation or for a billing or for controlling your your fan or your refrigerator. So there are different types of clusters available in a Zigbee. And then at the top, the companies build their logo and certifications are done. And then, yeah, it is it comes to the market. So, yeah, so this was uh, a, a basic about the Zigbee networks. In the upcoming tutorial, we will discuss the Zigbee node and what kind of uh, nodes involved in the Zigbee network. So keep updated and subscribe the channel. I hope you got some knowledge from this tutorial and yeah, stay tuned for more updates. Thank you very much for your time and see you soon.